There it is. The brand new Nikon Z30. Testing the autofocus on this little machine. That's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. But first, the studio is an absolute mess. And it's something I need to address. I'll be right back. Normal service has been resumed. Z30 is here, we have it here in front of us. It is recording right now. Just for your information though, we are recording in full auto and the audio is from the onboard microphones. Now I'm gonna change it up because once you get used to external microphones and uh, manual settings, there's no really going back. But starting out, you can see from that little snippet exactly what you can do by just switching this camera on and setting it. Uh, in the auto and just hitting that record button it just does the job straight out of the box so there we go we are now in manual mode what a difference sound and image quality just with a few tweaks that video will be coming down the lane so if you want to see that video on how to set up your z30 and the other z systems for shooting in manual when video recording consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss those upcoming videos but this video we are talking about the autofocus on the z30 now what makes this camera a great little camera is the fact that obviously it's designed for creators designed for people who want to vlog create video content so the the video performance had to be really good especially the autofocus now i have to say right out of the box it has been absolutely brilliant I mean, it, it just works out of the box take it out of the box put the battery in Put on auto, press record, and you're away, and you can start creating all of those wonderful videos. But the Z30 is so much more than that, and I am going to cover more videos and break down bits in other videos as well to show you what you're capable of doing with the Z30. But we're specifically looking at the autofocus. Now, I'm recording the screen via another camera because, unfortunately, I cannot record the screen with a dirty HDMI out. For some reason, the Z30 does not allow that, whether that's because there's no EVF, electronic viewfinder, so I cannot record that, but it's not allowing us to record the actual signal. Um, I'm just getting a clean HDMI, so you would be seeing this and not able to see any information on the screen. Now, the beauty about the Z30 is it's small, compact, light, and it's so easy just to set up and start recording. Movement to different spots, fine different angles. It makes life so much easier when you record video. And the key to doing that is really is good auto focus. And I think the takeaway from this video and what you can actually see is that the camera is doing an absolutely brilliant job of obviously tracking, keeping me in focus. There's not going to be any issues with that, but you don't just get great auto focus with this camera. You get 4K 30, which is fantastic and it's great quality. And you also get that buttery smooth 120 1080p as well for all those lovely slow motion shots. It really is an amazing little bit of kit. But because we are all used to our phones and the touch screens as well, one of the great things about the Z system from the Z6 right the way through to the Z6 II, Z7 and now the Z30 is it's always had a great touch screen on the back of the camera. You can flick through it, you can zoom, pinch to zoom on your images as well. And a lot of people kind of don't realize or don't kind of get the gist of how good the touch screen is on the Z6 as well, especially for folks. And if you want to kind of rack a focus or just select your camera to focus something else in the frame, you've literally just got to touch the screen and that's how easy it is. The Nikkor 16 to 50 mil is an absolute diamond of a uh, lens a kit lens to be fair it's a cracking vlogging lens as well i just kind of like a little bit more shallow depth of field so i'll probably go with maybe it's a 1.8 prime lens maybe it's the viltrox 13 mil that's going to be coming out i think that'll make a great addition to this aps-c camera look forward to testing that out if i can get my hands on one um but that was probably something else i'll probably upgrade is just that i tend to shoot with the 18 to 35 mil 1.8 but with having the shotgun mic on, you would actually hear the autofocus of that lens on the Z30. Should we test that? Should we test that out? Let's test that out. Let's see what that, uh, how that performs. So 
this is the Sigma E1835mm on the Z30. Not something I thought I would probably use because it actually is quite a heavy lens on such a small body. So I'd probably go more for a smaller APS-C dedicated 1.4 lens from Viltrox, I think, with an APS-C. The only downside to this lens is that actually you can hear the autofocus really loud. If I move, I'll demonstrate that. You'll probably be able to hear that with the shotgun mic. If you wear a lapel mic, you actually kind of hear that at all. Um, and that's what I've been doing for quite some time now. So, but with it being a vlogging camera, I'd probably want to set up with the shotgun mic on because I like the sound of the Rode Mic Pro. And if it's the same distance away all the time, you're going to get the same quality of audio as well. Um, but that's with the Sigma 35mm 1.8. A little bit of a bonus there for you guys. But I know obviously people who are stepping from their camera phones just want a camera that they can actually just switch on and start using. And I'm happy to say the Z30 does just that. It is a fun tool that allows you to forget all about the tool and just concentrate on creating whatever you want to in front of the camera. You can see from that little sequence that we've just done there at the beginning, how easy it is to create something. It may have only been a few seconds long, but it just kind of shows you what you're able to do very quick and very easy. And I must admit, having the flip out screen is making a big, big difference to the way you can actually create. Setting up those little shots behind all of the bits on the shelf is so easy with the flip out screen. You can see, you can frame it all up, see exactly how the shot's going to look, hit the record button and away you go. So that is the EF tested on the Z30. It wasn't a hugely scientific test at all, but I just wanted to give you more of a real world test so you guys can see how it's actually performing. If you're thinking about setting up to shoot vlogs, video content and become a creator on YouTube or any other platform as well. So hopefully you've getting a good idea of how well that Z30 is performing. I'm gonna be creating more videos on the Z30s. So they'll be coming up, so consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on those videos. And with that being said, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then.